Hello, welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for being here. As always, we have a very special guest today. I know that typically you're usually used to seeing the smiling, charismatic, articulate face of Ian Farrar from Perium, but today uh, we've managed to do an even greater upgrade if that's possible. We have the CEO and founder of Perium, one of the people that started all, Mr. Dave Sandoval. He's going to be giving his musings and insights on his past, his testimony, how Perium got started. And then we'll ask the usual questions that accompany that. Now, before we get started, please do like, subscribe, and share so that others can grow in the knowledge and hit that personalization button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos that are new. As we always do with our new guests, our first-time guests, we read off their bio. So I'm going to start with uh, the bio here for Dave, which is short and concise. Beginning in the early years of the Whole Foods movement, David Sandoval researched and studied alongside some of the most widely recognized industry leaders from around the world. This knowledge inspired Perium in U.S. and Platinum Health Europe, as well as his first book, The Green Foods Bible. After more than 20 years, David remains committed to the latest research and whole food advancements. A true family man, even to his friends, David is a lover of all humans and takes great pride in living a life that authentically reflects his love for the earth and his people, respectively. Today, David continues to break the molds in the health and wellness industry with products like CBD and Biome Medic, which is the first ever gold standard gliosphate detox certified supplement. Dave's most recent book, The Toxin That Came to Dinner, is an engaging and persuasive look at issues that face our food and food sources today and how Perium has the antidote and solutions for the future. Mr. Dave Sandoval, thanks for joining the podcast. How are you doing today? Oh, well, thank you for having me, uh, Mr. Dowling. It's a pleasure to be here and uh, to everybody who's tuning in. Thanks for taking the time out of your day. No, it's, it's an honor. Believe me, this is a privilege. So I guess the most natural genesis point, uh, I would say, Dave, to start is, um, tell us a little bit about your background, uh, your testimony. How did Perium get started and, and how, did it, how did it come to be? Well, Perium got started. Uh, I was on the radio in New York City. Um, I was on two 50,000 watt stations, and those are as big as stations as are allowed by the, by the FTC. So I had a pretty wide reach in a pretty big city, you know, um, and, you know, tens of thousands of people would tune into my show and I would just open up the phone lines. I would start out the day by saying, here's the issues that I've read in the news. Here's my opinion about those. Do you have any questions of anything having to do with health? And I would open up the phone lines and for the next hour, um, I would get people asking me. I have this, my husband has that, my daughter suffers from this, you know, how could I help with this, that, or the other? And I wrote down over the, the days, weeks, months, years, I wrote down every question that I'd ever been asked. And then I paid a, a transcriber to organize those into all the questions I wanted to, you know, be able to address ultimately. And it turns out that out of those over 12,000 questions, there were only 50 questions. And if you think about it, there were 46 questions. And what I mean was people ask the questions in different ways, but they're suffering all the same. And so then it confronted me, are, 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 am I a doctor? You know, I was asked that all the time when I was on the radio, am I a doctor? And I would say, absolutely not. I said, but I believe it is my philosophy that 95% of the suffering is not because of a disease, is not because of a condition, is not because we need medicine. It's because we're not properly nourished. Our gut may be compromised. We may not be getting enough sleep. We may not be getting enough water. And we may not be thinking enough positive thoughts. And so... With that in mind, I sought to erase 95% of the confusion so that the actual doctors, the actual experts, you know what I mean, could then work on that 5% that really needed medical attention. Um, but because we're confusing and totally bankrupting the system with unnecessary treatments, unnecessary visits, unnecessary medicines, unnecessary, you know what I mean, money spent then the people who really need medical attention aren't even able to get it because the rest of us who just aren't eating right are clogging up the system. Is that too judgmental? Because it wasn't meant to sound that way, but then I listened to my own words um, 
but it really is just that I'd like people to understand that in Genesis 129, it didn't say I've given you the pharmaceutical companies mm -hmm. and the chemicals of the field. It said, I've given you the seed bearing fruits, the vines and the grasses of the field. And this is to be your sustenance. Now sustenance is what keeps you alive and healthy. So if great creator told me to look to the field before the pharmacy, I'm going to listen, my friend. I agree. No, I didn't think it was judgmental. I just thought it was more observational and experiential, if anything. And uh, I think the doctors serve a purpose, but not the purpose they've been serving, right? Many of them yeah, took a vow right. to do no harm. And they've done, unfortunately, in the recent events, many, not all, but many have done just that. And I think what you're doing is helping to wholly reverse engineer that process uh, going forward. Because we know that, you know, med beds are coming into the fold, but I don't think that people should just wait for those to come. They, they can be doing things along the way to improve. And, I, and for myself, Perium has definitely benefited in that. And, and many of the other people on our audience that have tried it have come back with exceedingly positive results, which we're grateful. Yeah, well, human beings go through two big aging cycles. One starts around 39 years old and lasts till we're almost 42. And the other starts when we're about 59 year old, years old and last till we're about 62. So I'm right in the middle of that. I am 62 years old, which means I have been through both of my major uh, menopause, okay? Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so I've been through both of my big hormonal um, growth aging spurts and I've never used Botox. I wouldn't consider it. I don't use potions and things like that. And you know, you'd have a hard time find the wrinkles on this old man's face, you know? So uh, so I'm pretty proud of what I understand is epigenetics. Now we've had this conversation before, I think the other day on the phone. Could we just tell people what epigenetics is? So they understand where we're coming from? I think it'd be best to hear from the horse's mouth. Okay, so every when, when I was being raised, I was told that we had these genes, this DNA that was like, uh, a book that had been written, like a script that had been written in our life was nothing more than playing out that script, right? And if we could see into it, we're just living out that movie as far as our health, whether we would get a disease and how old we would live, all of these things. But that was not true. I'm not going to say it's a lie because the people who said it thought it was true when they said it. The people who thought that the earth, the sun came up on the left and went down on the right, uh, they, you know, they, they were right until they weren't, you know, so I'm just saying that um, that epigenetics actually means that each one of your genes has multiple potential expressions, everything from a disease state to what is called homeostasis or a very healthy state working properly. Homeostasis means working properly and our bodies were meant, again, endowed by our creator to work properly. And when things are not working properly, we may need those doctors, but most of the time, it's our failure to properly nourish and to direct our genes, to give them a, 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 an opportunity to choose the best possible outcome as opposed to the worst. And if you consistently put, again, 100 years ago, none of this existed, so keep that in mind. If you consistently put artificial colors artificial sweeteners, okay, hydrogenated oils, preservatives, chemicals, okay, um, for pesticides and herbicides, and you keep allowing these things in what was supposed to be food, okay, was supposed to nourish us and be our sustenance, is now actually deterring our genes from expressing in their optimal way. Now, I met Jean Colment when she was 119 and she lived to be 123. And I lost my father at 62 years old. Okay, something's wrong. Mm -hmm. Why did she live twice as long as my father? Now, if I'm gonna choose a role model, do you know who it's gonna be? Absolutely. So epigenetics is the reason why Purim exists. Because every single time that you flood your cells, your mitochondria with these superfoods that are nutrient dense, okay, then they're actually going to give a message to your DNA. And they're going to say, 
okay, go left, go left, go left, go right, go right, go right. And they're going to guide you through and navigate you through life, having the best outcomes each and every time, mentally, physically, emotionally. Now wait for it. Spiritually, does nutrition affect you spiritually? If your hormones affect your mood and hormones are affected by food and your mood definitely impacts your relationship with creator, with God, you know, Yahweh, I don't care how you choose to describe it. Mm -hmm. um, we all worship the same God, regardless of how we might describe it. So, you know, there's one great creator and that great creator endowed upon us the ability to live a long and healthy life. And my friend, um, we need to get back to the garden. Okay. We need to get back to the garden. Absolutely. Back to basics, 100%. Now let's back up a second, uh, Dave, what question I wasn't planning asking, but some, the great thing about these types of interviews is they can be very authentic and you just kind Fluid. of roll dramatically with where things go. And that is, I can't gloss over this point because it's a valid point you made. You said that there's two cycles where I think the aging process is most predominant, 39 to 42 and 59 to 62. Why those specific ages? Well, um, for women, it's because hormonally their testosterone has dropped dramatically. And when that does that, it impacts, um, of course, estrogen and these other what we consider female hormones, right? Which, of course, they don't have until they're about 14, theoretically, when they start menstruating. So this time of childbirthing years, right, takes a toll on women even if they don't have children, just the, the, the whipsawing of their hormones. Mm -hmm. And this is why we have the super life formula, as you know, which naturally raises testosterone and helps you completely ease through that time period, which means you might not experience that aging growth spurt. Isn't that amazing, right? To not have nature trigger you saying, you're supposed to get old now. No, we don't want that to happen. Okay, with men, typically that is going to happen in their 59 to 60. That's why men seem to not age as quickly as women up until that time, right? It's been noted, right? So women have that growth for 40, you know, 40-ish. Men have it, you know, 60-ish. Hmm. Um, and the catching up for men is brutal. I've seen men go from looking spry at 55 to who are you at 63, right? And, and you have too. I know you have. Sure. Just think about our fathers, think about our, you know, our, our uncles, you know, um, and our brothers. And so, um, and so at Purium, we want to be at the, at the controls, like we're at the driving wheel during that time, right? I mean, all the time, but specifically at that time to make sure that your genes are directing toward that, okay, 120 versus 72, which is when most men are at the end of their line, which is sad and really disgusting to me. My grandfather fathered my last uncle at 73. Mm. Wow. My grandmother wasn't happy and we're just gonna pray for his soul. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm praying in the family, of course, as well, yeah. I mean, that makes yeah. sense. Thank you for that uh, explanation. It's very plausible because we're always taught in school that girls mature faster than boys. So if you go by that, ideology that edict it would make sense that women would um hit that aging process quicker than men but it's good to know at least you know with these products with the med beds with all the light and frequency patents that are we know are coming out we can counteract that and we can do something about it right now which is and, one and what was the original light and frequency pattern prayer prayer right that's good like that's good we could all tap into it and it's been proven that it can travel thousands of miles mm, that's right yeah good point that's a really good point thank you so let's that's... not forget we don't have to wait for technology because wherever two or more of us are gathered right he's there in praise then that vibration raises and people say why do you go to church um have you ever been to church with 300 people singing to god mm. raising their voices or just simply praying together right so we've felt that vibration before. Which you know also, I mean? I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, I do uh, completely. And also, as you know, releases a natural hormone oxytocin as well, 
when you're connecting with other people in unison, that's been proven. Um, it makes you younger. That too. <laughs> so, so you talked about, I showed the audience the super life formula. I've tried before and, and I've already started to notice some very subtle and not so subtle changes in a positive way. Um, another product that I recently got on Ian's suggestion, and of course I, I veer to his expertise a lot, is this product Zinc Aid. So I want to oh. ask you, about this product, is it a zinc supplement enhancement? What, what's so powerful about it? Well, we all know how zinc ions work in the body, how they protect, literally surround our cells, like, you know, like a, a shield, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we have the only plant-based organic zinc supplement in history made from papaya leaves, mm -hmm. okay? Now, we've, now, the reason it's called Zinc Aid is because it has what are called essential nutrients. Essential doesn't mean just that you need them. It means your body can't make them. Mm. Most nutrients our body can synthesize out of other things that we eat. And it can create those nutrients. But these things we call essential nutrients have to be taken from food in the form that our body uses them. They include vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and beta carotene. And so Zinc Aid contains all of those essential nutrients in excess of what the human body needs on a daily basis and if you are like me and don't do jabs and that's not a judgment of anybody who does because i love many people who have okay mm -hmm. but if you're like me and don't you need some protection okay white american ginseng to keep your oxygen levels up beet juice to keep your oxygen levels up right super xanthan to keep inf inflammatory down right? And zinc aid to throw that protective barrier over your cells. I mean, this has been done before. It just wasn't done by scientists in a lab before. Mm. I'm glad you said, thank you for that so much. I'm glad you said that about the can't beat this because that is a lot of parent products. Again, I don't about. want to go across any lines. So you're allowed to stop me. Okay. Oh no, you, we allow our guests to speak freely here. So we don't censor. Okay, then everybody knows what I'm talking about. More oxygen, oh, yeah. less inflammation increased immunity okay no weeks necessary we can speak clearly agreed um and the many products i love but i have told ian this before i think i've told my audience as well I, the can't beat this is one of my favorite products so i play in a basketball league uh with guys of different ages ranging from you know 12 to 65 you know it's a pretty broad range and you know i'm playing with kids that are younger than me kids some people that are older and I'm amazed since I've been using, just putting it in hydrolyzed water, right? Like what you're drinking out of uh, it with, the, with the, you know, a couple of whatever teaspoons of, uh, of, of the can't beat this just right into the water. And I drink that 15, 20 minutes before I start running my capillaries, my breathing, my stamina has just increased dramatically from you. No, no hype. I mean, straight up. It's been amazing. I've been and no peak and valley. And no, so very consistent. Doing, yeah. So, so you know that Viagra was created to increase vascular integrity and to to stiffen the cell wall. Um, you know, where blood vessels that would be retained in that region, right? And so, do you know that beet juice actually does that naturally with mm. something called nitric oxide? Mm. And nitric oxide makes your muscles pump up too. It doesn't just work in one region. It makes your muscles look bigger. It takes away wrinkles in your face because you have natural, you know, tension, um, you know, the, the skin elasticity and all of that. So, you know, beet juice is so good for your heart. And, and so I'm going to bore you with some science. We have, you know, a hundred miles of capillaries in our body. We just have a few feet of veins and, uh, you know, uh, uh, and so, uh, you know, uh, a few yards of veins. And so, the thing is, is that capillaries have to be moved by muscle. And that muscle, it, it allows them to move single file. And if those capillaries aren't fat and thick and strong, and if you don't have the muscle to move them, you could actually die of muscle wasting. You could die of poor circulation because that's how nutrients get to the cells. People mm -hmm. forget how simple the human body is. Okay, so the reason you're taking those super aminos, those are created to put people in a coma or who are paralyzed to put muscle on them so they wouldn't die of muscle wasting. Yet we take it and then we work out, right? 
So right. think about these natural things that we're doing to enhance the way the human body's working, delivering nutrients to the cells, telling epigenetically, telling our DNA that we want to live. I want to live a long life, healthy and free of disease. And I send that message to my DNA. And I know a lot of ways that people are sending messages to their DNA. And it's not saying, I, went, I want to live a long life, healthy and free of disease. It's saying, I'm gonna take my chances like life is Las Vegas. It's not. Yeah, hundred percent because Tomorrow's not promised to anyone. Heck, today is not promised to anyone. So you're absolutely right. And, and, and I think it's another important point, Dave. Not only do these products actually work, but of all the products I've tried, and there's some good ones, don't get me wrong. But for myself, these products actually work and they're tasty. You manage, you manage to make beet juice actually taste good without that bitterness that's typically associated with it. How did, how did you do that? And that's not just beet juice, as you see. It has some amazing adaptogenic herbs for stamina, endurance, and recovery also added in. And, you know, we have a, a very strict standard. And so we could have made it taste even better, believe me, if we didn't have the standards we have. Mm -hmm. But to me, those other tastes aren't actually good. Everything you're tasting is a plant, extract, concent or concentrate. So all those flavorings come from pomegranate, come from cherry, come from, yeah, come from different things like that. And that's the way we do it. We just use plant extracts and concentrates um, in order to enhance the flavors. Now, there were years that we did, we only did unflavored. And then people came to me, you know, uh, they had tar and feather and, uh, you know, and I said, okay, I'll do flavors. And our business grew by literally 20 times. So my reluctance to do flavorings was, you know, the fear that someone would say it's not pure, you know? So we have the unflavored versions available too, but 99% of our sales are, are, are with the delicious ones because they're organic plant extracts. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it just because yeah. it tastes good. In fact, it makes what I'm drinking right now. Oh my God. It's the cocoa hydrate, which has the pineapple flavor, right? Amazing. The beet juice, which has that, you know, pomegranate, cherry type of flavor, mix those two together, it, it's just insane. Um, and then, you know, I put the ionic elements in there for extra magnesium and uh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, and, and it's remarkable. And also Dave, I think another point that we need to stress that you made, it's very, very important underrated is, is you said the key word in the previous statement about the beet juice, the recovery time, because I'm usually playing two and a half to three hours when I play with these guys on a Sunday, for example, you know, early in the morning, uh, which is a factor. And I've noticed that with post-workout stretching and so forth, the lactic acid I have is almost non-existent. So that recovery time is a legitimate thing. Could I geek out for a sec? No, you're good. No, you're okay. So, you know, lactic acid doesn't start as lactic acid. It starts as adenosine triphosphate mm. or ATP. I call it available to play ATP. That's the energy that your body uses anytime you need energy. It comes from ATP. And ATP is created in our mitochondria. And our mitochondria exists in the center of every single cell in your body has its own mitochondria, which means there's energy capable of being produced from every single cell in your body. The cell on your forehead, right? The cell on your elbow. They're all capable of producing energy, but which ones do and why, okay? Well, we have a product called Super Xanthan, clinically proven in seven extensive clinical trials. Now, the reason I'm saying all of this is because adenosine triphosphate is an adenosine bond with three phosphates attached to it. And when you rip one off, that produces a spark of energy, like when your piston hits in your car. And when you rip another one off, it produces another spark of energy. But does your body rip the third one off? No, because at that point it has become lactic acid, mm. adenosine monophosphate, okay? That's lactic acid. And that's not good. It makes your muscle feel heavy, it makes recovery time longer. Well, guess what super xanthan is? It's a phosphate contributor. It walks around with a basket full of phosphate. And when you rip the first one off, it puts another one back on. So you're using adenosine triphosphate 
three, four, five, six times before it turns into lactic acid. There's nothing like it on the planet. So basically it's building up layers of insulation and redundancy before uh, the lactic acid can even take place. That's right. Amazing, amazing. Just uh, a couple more questions, Dave, for you because I want to respect your time. So this is a product I've also been taking now as well for a couple months, Heart Aid, and primarily because there was a history, there has been a history of heart disease on both sides of my parents' bloodline, and I want to be the one to break that cycle, you know, for myself, for my future wife and and kids, guardians when when that time comes. Got, um, thank you, Lord. Uh, so, what in your estimation from this product makes this product so effective? So, first of all, this product is more effective when you are taking the beet juice as well. Okay, the two work hand in hand, side by side. The, if you look throughout history, the single most effective herbal remedy, okay, um, and herbal remedies have been documented over time, but I'm going to give you the background on this product. There was a doctor, he, was, he has the most subscriptions to any cardiologist of any cardiologist in this newsletter. I won't say his name. He came to me, there was a product on the market called Heart Drops that was just selling like crazy, claiming to help be able to prevent heart attacks. And he knew that that product was not what they were claiming it to be. But it made him mad that all of his customers were spending their money on it. So he said, Dave, I want to work with you and create the best heart defensive formula on the market. So we put it together, him and I together, doing research for over two years. We came up with this product that you're holding, Heart Aid. And when I told him the cost of it, he laughed at me. He said, if you charged me that much, I'd have to charge my customers this much. I said, well, I don't care what you charge, but if we're gonna make this product, this is what it costs. And he said, well, I need it to cost half that much. So I sent him back the formula with half as much of each ingredient and he fired me, you know, basically mm -hmm. took me off of the job. So here I am sitting on this formula created by this brilliant cardiologist who just wasn't willing to charge for it. Mm -hmm. Now, because of his markups and pharmaceutical, you know, type of approach, he thought he'd charge $199 for it. As you can see, we sell it for about what? 40 to 60? 40, 45. It's pretty reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, like one twenty-five percent of what he said he was going to have to charge for. Well, I'm not a big shot cardiologist, so I don't need to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, and no offense to this doctor, you know, I still consider him friend, um, but I've never made a product for him in all these years because I put quality first and cost second, and I always will. And I know our audience will appreciate that, especially in these times ahead. Uh, uh, just cheap food and expensive medicine or, you know, quality food and no medicine. That's our choice. Well, like Ian always says, health is wealth. You know, I mean, we can come into this reset and all we want, but if we don't have the health to actually help people, you know, we can't help anybody until we help ourselves. So, you know, I'm going to digress. Started. Please. I volunteered as a child at these old age homes. Uh, they were for veterans or old people who didn't really have it all together anymore. They didn't have the money to have their own home. And when we went in there, I would note that any one of them told me, honey, if I could just have one more day doing what I used to love doing, if I could just have one more day with my wife before she died, if I could just have one more day holding my grandkids, if I could, and I would sit there and cry as a teenager, crying over the fact that I'm not going to be these people. I'm not going to be wishing that I had one more day because I was so willing to compromise today for tomorrow. Okay. I want everyone to start buying tomorrow's happiness today. You can't buy it then. It's too late. There was nothing I could do for any of those people to get them back to that point that they said they'd get anything to be. I'd get everything I have in the world to have one more day with my deceased wife or with my children who don't come around anymore because I can't get out of bed. That's not the life I want for you people. It's not the life I want for me. It's not the life that anyone deserves. And Purium exists because we're the antidote to that. And I'm not afraid to say it.
Thank you. Thank you, David, for sharing your heart on that. I, I deeply appreciate that. I'm sure many of our audience does as well. Uh, two other questions for you real briefly. The first one being, um, we talked about this with Ian, but again, you're at the head of the, the line with this, and obviously you know the products and what the, how they get sourced. You've broken down some of the ingredients within the products. How, how do you and your staff go about uh, getting the purest products, sourcing them at the freshest points? How does that, how does that work? Well, some of them are grown on farms that are commissioned by us, and that's probably about 60%. Uh, the other 40% come from trusted suppliers that I've developed over the years. Uh, you know, and but I think there's a Russian proverb that says trust but verify. Okay. Now I'm a big believer in that philosophy. So we have um like half a million dollars worth of identity testing equipment at our laboratory. And if you give me aloe vera and it's even one tenth of one percent, one hundredth of one percent, something that is not aloe vera, I will know what it is and I will reject it. We have testing on multiple levels, dozens and dozens of tests that we do on every single ingredient. And when we're out of stock, it's because there's an ingredient that got rejected, had to be retested or replaced. When you see an out of stock with us, you can bow and say, thank you. Because that means that we stopped something that another company would not have stopped. Mm. We are the gatekeeper of your gut, your health, your cells, your mouth, all of it. Okay. Um, now, I just want to tell you again, very quickly, that there's a reason we do what we do. And we have to honor the temple that is a reflection of our creator. And if I brought McDonald's to the temple, I believe great creator would not be happy with me. If I bring a basket of fruits and nuts and vegetables, okay? Um, if I bring grass fed, grass finished, you know, uh, you know, free pastured milk or butter, you know, then that's the type of thing our body recognizes, um, you know? And so I'm just saying that let's be real. Let's stop being fooled. Food doesn't have chemicals, doesn't have colorings or additives food is food and we've gotten so far away from the garden and this isn't to be a ju in judgment but uh, the last thing i'll say because i know we just have a little bit of time imagine this that we learned you know genetically that what we eat could affect up to seven generations that follow us that our great grandchild could have autism because of something we ate that hurt our genes okay but we were already alive and living. So it didn't happen during our lifetime. So it happens during the next generation. So in Native American culture, I'm Native American church. I hope that's okay with everybody. Um, we believe that our forefathers, our great, great grandfather, our, gra our, gra our great grandfather, our grandfather and our father, that they changed the arc of history, that they determined the world I would live in. And that it's up to me to change the arc of history that will determine the world that my children, grandchildren, great grandchildren will live in. And so if we sit at the center of seven generations with three before us or even four before us and three after us, and we are responsible, okay, in the end, when all things are revealed and great creator asks us, you know, did we respect? Our, our parents, but at the same time, did we raise our children the way that God would want them to be raised? And so uh, I'm just saying that all I want is for things to be the way they were and the way they should be. I'm not asking for any type of revolution. I'm asking for us to simply go back to the way things were. And when I read the book Rachel Carson wrote called Silent Spring, I thought that we had woken up, but now we know that glyphosate is prolific in our in our food, that 75% of food contains a toxin that will hurt us, that 95% of beverages contains a toxin that could hurt us. And if we lived in Flint, Michigan, we wouldn't drink the water, right? Mm -hmm. But somehow we go to the grocery store and we eat the food. The grocery store is Flint, Michigan, people, okay? And glyphosate is the lead that's in the water. 
I'm going to say it again. The grocery store is Flint, Michigan. And glyphosate is lead in this analogy. And thank you so much for the chance to speak, you know, to you and to these wonderful people who, who have tuned in with us today. No, oh, it's been an honor. Before we go, uh, I just have one more question. If it's okay, Dave, in two parts to save time. The and you can answer in any order that you like. That's fine. Um, the first one being is um, I've noticed with the product lines, they typically are capsule or liquid based. And I know that's probably for absorption purposes and things like that. Um, is there any, are there any plans to get like a protein bar or anything in a bar form, or do you just see it being in the, the liquid and, and uh, capsule formula? And uh, I stopped going to bars a while ago. Um, okay. no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's no, good. so we tried that. We did. And the problem is, see, we're the manufacturer. And by being the manufacturer, we cut out about 60% of the overhead. Mm. We don't make bars and we're not licensed to. So I, I had to send all of my awesome ingredients to some bar guy who suggested all these things that needed to put be put in it to make it chewy and be wet, but still not go bad. And so mm. by the time you put something in a bar form, uh, there's a lot of compromises I wouldn't make to the food. Um, and, uh, and then I had to charge that 60% that usually I don't have to, because I had to pay that manufacturer all of his profit to do that. And, um, and so, uh, but what we do as is some amazing recipes and you could make multiple types of your own bars, balls, and snacks fresh with Purium ingredients mm. and they can change each time. And, uh, and so that actually is pretty cool. And the simplest one is try taking your Appleberry power shake and taking a tablespoon with four cups of, I mean, four, yeah, about a, a big bag of popcorn and just shake the Appleberry, just one teaspoon onto that popcorn. It's going to taste like um, caramel popcorn in a way, mm. like super yummy. And you're actually getting, you know, one third of your of your Purium serving, you know, just by snacking with your popcorn. And uh, there's other things you could do like that. We've got a bunch of suggestions in the Purium recipes page, and we've got some mamas and some chefs and some real amazing people. Uh, and I'll tell you one of my favorite drinks, and, that, and then we'll go to your second part of your question. Sure. Take, uh, we call this "Can't Beat the Power of Love." Okay. You take, um, can't beat this two scoops, right? Uh, power shake, can't beat the power of love. So beat power shake and then love. You need like a teaspoon or two of the love super meal, a tablespoon of the appleberry power shake and two tablespoons of the can't beat this. And if you ever went to 7-Eleven as a little kid on your skateboard and got a Slurpee, yes. It'll blow your mind. It tastes just like a Slurpee. Mm. And if you drink it cold, the little chunks you think are ice. I mean, it is amazing. So Perium's fun. I'm not yeah. joking. We have some really fun, what we call healthy happy hours. And <laughs> we've got a lot of amazing recipes for people who want to have a few people over and check it out. Second part of your question. I like that. It's very creative, by the way. And thank you for articulating some, some ideas for the, for the people to uh, peruse. Uh, the second part was just if there's any new products or any offerings that you're coming out with, I thought might, this might be a good chance for you to talk about that. Oh, look at you. Investigative reporting. I like that. So for years and years and years, we dabbled with, tested, experimented, um, and we couldn't find an omega-3 DHA that was really amazing, like the top, top, top thing the human body needed. Well, before the end of the year, we plan on releasing, and it might be December 31st, but before the end of the year, we are going to release the finest omega-3 DHA, EFA, vegan, okay? Um, no preservatives, no additives, nothing. And it tastes good. We had it, it tastes like, uh, we made it lemonade flavor, literally tastes like you're just taking a little, little bit of lemonade. It is, you never know, no fishy taste, no fishy smell, nothing. It is going to be amazing. And we are returning our 
uh, our um, GABA immunobutyric acid product called Chill, which takes away negative pervasive thoughts, which we all have. Hmm. So very quick, super quick. When we think about something over and over and over, our mind attaches an enzyme that says, this is important. Don't forget it. Okay. Don't forget to feed the kids. Don't forget to whatever it might be. Well, if we're thinking something negative over and over and over, guess what our body does? Attaches that same enzyme and says, never forget this. Never forget that my boyfriend left me. Never forget that my auntie died. Never for No. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what GABA immunobutyric acid is, it's our brain's ability to selectively eliminate negative thoughts that don't serve you. I'm serious. And so we combine that with, um, with a couple of, of other amazing things and you just take it and within seconds, your brain gets a reset. It's amazing. But our previous version of it had a preservative the manufacturer didn't reveal to us. And when we got that half million dollar machine, we found out we had been being lied to mm. and we had to reject the product. It was the only product we had to take out of our, uh, when we upgraded to get an even more, you know, sensitive machine. So we had to discontinue that product. We're two weeks away from verifying a two year shelf life on the new chill with no preservatives to harm you. So uh, we're working on things all the time. And those are the two big things happening before the end of the year. And companies could be built on either one of those products, much less one of 60 products, you know? Yeah. So this is your one-stop shop right here. Well, thanks for the trust and just closing that ahead of time. We really appreciate that. And uh, that sounds really exciting because I, I do take fish oil, but I've always been looking for an alternative. So this, this sounds very encouraging. And, and thanks again for that. And folks, uh, as you know, I do, we do use the products. Uh, Purim is a sponsor and we are a co-branding partner with them on this channel. And I use these products every month, every day. You, I've shown you examples every, every time we do a podcast, I show you the different things I'm trying through the various arsenal of products that they have, which is very numerous and sundry. So we're putting our name behind it because we believe in it that strongly. So that being said, if you are using the product and you have had success, please do leave some comments in the comment section to articulate your testimony on said products that you've used. If you haven't tried the products, we humbly recommend it. If you go to the Perium website, I is an I, the letter I, shoppurium.com, and you put in my code JD, just the first and last initials of my name, JD Health, doesn't matter if it's upper or lower case, you will get uh, $50 off your first order over $75 or 25% off of anything over $199 and above. And again, the code is JD Health. You've heard from Ian before. You've heard today from the horse's mouth, Dave Sandoval. They stand behind all of their products. I go to pick up the products directly at the warehouse. The staff is really excellent, friendly, and knowledgeable. Has served me every single time. And so we're really honored to have you today, Mr. Dave Sandoval. Thank you so much for sharing. And we uh, hope to have you and your, your co-founder on again in the near future. Yeah, the pleasure is mine. And again, a 60-day money-back guarantee on a 30-day supply of products. Um, that's how much faith I have that we can help you to feel better. Thank you, JD. Such a pleasure. And uh, have a blessed and beautiful day. You too. God bless and take care. Many blessings. Bye-bye.